All right, you guys. Now, this is me showing you guys how to do the upgrade, um, removing it from your PS4. Um, I did this off the camera that I used, and the audio was just really horrible. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just go over it, like narrate over it. But um, what you want to do is here, uh, this is the front of your PS4, okay? Uh, that's my PS4 skin. You guys might like it. <laughs> but uh, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and get it onto the back. Um, this is your front of your PS4. That's the glossy part of your PS4. That pops right off. You just got to slide up. And it comes right off. That's how that's how easy that is. You literally slide up, and then your hard drive is located right there. There is one screw right there that you need to remove. You go ahead, remove that one screw right there, and uh, your your hard drive will be able to slide right out. So once you remove that screw there, go ahead and slide it right out. Boom, just like that comes right out. Okay. Now, if you look there, there are four screws there that need to be removed. One, two on each side. One there. One there. One there. And then one there. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and remove those four screws, um, and your hard drive will slide right out. It will literally just pop right out. Then, what you want to do is put in your new one. Make sure that you have the metal contact points on the other side. And then, what you want to do is go ahead and put the screws back in. And when you got the screws back on, you want to go ahead and just slide it right back in, just like that. Boom, okay? You'll slide it right back in. Put that one screw right back on. And when you get that one screw right back on, that's it. Put the glossy part back on, and then you're ready to move on to the next steps where you have to download the file and get it all set up. And after this part, you'll see what I'm talking about. Why, right, you guys? There you go. I will show you guys on the next uh, video exactly what to do. All right, what is going on, you guys? So this is the next step um, in upgrading your uh, your hard drive. Now, uh, this link here will be in the description on the bottom of the video in the description. So if you guys want to, you know, click it, go to here. You want to scroll down to where it says perform a new installation of the system software. Because remember, that hard drive is not going to have anything saved on it. So you're going to have to do this right here. Okay. So what you want to do is connect your USB storage device to your PC. I don't have mine, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you exactly what you would do in your USB storage device as if you mine was connected. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure you have this file downloaded. Where it says download now, you want to make sure that that is downloaded and ready to rock. Okay, It's going to say ps4update.pup. Okay. Um, now what you want to do is once that's done downloading, you want to go ahead and go into your USB storage device. Okay, And in there, this is what you would do. You would click it and go to a new folder. Now the new folder, you want to do this in all caps, type in ps and then 4. And then go into the folder. And then when you're in the new folder, you want to go ahead and do another new folder. And this one, in all caps, would be update. And then in the update, you double click in there. And then you drop that file that you just downloaded that has the PS4 update.pup. That you will drag into, into here. Okay. When you drag that into here, that's all you got to do. Okay. So in your USB source device, create a folder called PS4. In there, create a folder called update, and then drag that file you just downloaded into here. And that's all you got to do on the PC side. That's it. You're done. And then the next step you would have to do is right here. You would turn off your PS4 system completely, okay? Touch the power button on the PS4 system for at least seven seconds until the system beeps a second time, okay? Then connect your USB storage device. I already had, what I did is I left mine connected. So just connect it, do this step, the first step here. Make sure your USB is connected already before you do the first step. Do the first step with the USB connected. And then with the storage device, uh, touch the power button for at least seven seconds. Uh, it would boot up in safe mode. And then you would go initialize PS4, reinstall system um, software. And then all you got to do is follow the instructions. And that's it. It will automatically complete it from, it will grab that file that you just downloaded onto your PS4. And then boom, that's it. You just do step by step and it's really easy. Um, this was the hardest part for me was getting the right, was getting the right uh, download. This is all you need. And all you gotta do is follow the instructions here, and that is that's really easy, you guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, just hit me up on YouTube. I'll uh, leave a comment, and uh, I'll make sure to get back to you if you guys have any questions. Hopefully, this video has helped you out. I'll probably add a video of uh, someone doing it step by step, or maybe I'll do it myself with my old hard drive or something. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all you guys gotta do. Hope this video helps you guys out. Peace out, everyone. Alright you guys, now in this part, this is what happens when you boot it in safe mode. Um, I'll show you to the part that just like the first few steps that you need to do to get this done. Um, what you want to do is boot it into safe mode. <coughs> and then when you do, you want to go to number option 7. Alright, you want to hit that. When you click that, this is what's going to pop up. Connect to USB storage device. It contains an update file for reinstallation. 
Uh, of course, this would be version 2.51, not 2.03. This is an old video, but uh, 2.51. And you want to hit OK. And what it's going to do is going to grab this from the USB source device, like I told you what to do. And after that, I'll say the PS4, all users and data will be deleted. If you want to continue, you want to go ahead and hit yes. Okay. You guys want to hit yes on that option. And uh, when you do, this is what's going to pop up. Um, when you hit yes, boom, that's what's going to happen. And then after that, it's just like little, it's just all loading screens. And it's going to be showing you guys all that stuff, um, like initializing, downloading, all that stuff. And when it's done, it'll pop up. And then I'll tell you to, to sign in with your profile. That's pretty much it. Hopefully this helps you guys out at least by the step by step what to do on the safe mode when you guys are ready to get to that part. Um, I'll add this to the, to the end of the video of after you grab everything off the files and all that stuff. This will be added to it. Uh, but uh, hopefully this helps you guys out at least by step by step. All right. Cool. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace out, everyone.